Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Kevin with SurvivalSports.com. Today we're taking a look at the Jacksman Z1 Series flashlight. I received this at no cost to myself. And from what I understand, this flashlight uses a couple of different batteries. It said it can use the 26650 or 18650. You need a conversion tube. That's what these little things here are. And this is zoomable. 20 watt version, the 20 watt version used two batteries using the extension tube. Rotate focus, high, medium, Let's get low. Some weight measurements on this flashlight. Jacksman Z1. Let's see here. That is 14.90 ounces. One more time. 14.90 ounces. Let's get some measurements, guys. It's about seven and seven eighths of an inch long. Bezel is about two and a quarter. No, two. Two and a sixteenth. And the body is about one and five sixteenths. About one and five sixteenths in diameter. Uses two 18650 batteries. That you have to have these included sleeves. And includes these sleeves. Put that down inside there like that. Side there like that. And we have light. But here's what got me. Whenever I was putting this flashlight together, is that I thought it could work with just a single battery. And that was in part that the body comes apart like this. I was like, oh, okay. So it's going to work with. Take the battery out of this X1S. So, I thought I'd just be able to do that right there. Do that right there. And it would work. And I cannot get that light to work using just a single battery. I don't know what it is. And using just an 18, a single 18650 battery. It just does not want to work. So I think that even though it's got this little short stubby housing on it, that it requires either two 26650 batteries or two of these, the 18650. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it needs two of the 16650 because this one here works. I mean, we just put it right here in the Z1, same company. Same brand name, everything. Put it right there in that Z1S, and I mean, it works just fine. Whoops. All right, so let's put this back on there. Get back in there like that. And it works. So when I first started playing around this flashlight, I thought that I could just take this tube and this piece of tube here off, take that tube extension off, use it with a single battery, and it would work, but it doesn't. Let's see there, a 550 cord will fit in there, and it won't. One of the complaints that I have about these type of flashlights is that I have to use trotline string instead of 550 cord, which I don't mind. Trotline, that green trotline string has got a Breaking rating of something like 330 pounds and 550 cords, well, 550. So, just if those were just a little bit bigger, that would be fantastic. All right, let's do some draw. Let's do some test, guys. All right, guys, it's time for some nighttime pictures. And I've used these flashlights. I've been using this flashlight for oh, geez, almost two weeks. And I'm I like it, but there's something that I don't like about it. And that is, look at the chicken house. All right, y'all ready? We're going to zoom out. Then we're going to zoom in. You see how that square is? That's what I don't like about it. It's got four, it looks like it has four LED emitters. It just spoils it when you've got, whenever you're zoomed in. But when you are zoomed in, I mean, it's a very, I mean, except for the big square in the middle, it's all right. So, I'm going to consider this more of a floodlight, more than zoomable. I'm just going to walk around the chicken yard here, just get some pictures. 
my deer feeder I use for feeding the chickens. Got some hen scratch in there and it's set to go off. Now let's get some steel pitchers, guys. Because this is an adjustable beam, I'm not going to drop it on the bezel. This doesn't seem fair. I don't know how well these are grooved up inside there. These, type of, these types of flashlights are not waterproof per se. They're water resistant. From what I understand, most of them will tape, but you'll be able to spray them, take them out in the rain, stuff like that. But as far as submersible, that'll leak around here and get into the flashlight. All right, so let's drop it a few times, see what happens. About height of about four feet. One, two, three, four. All right. Still works. Glass is intact. Everything's fine. So, what are my final thoughts on the Jacksman Z1? So I really wish this thing just had a single LED emitter. You can see up inside of there, it's got four little LEDs. Compare that to Jaxman X1S, and it's just got one LED. If they were to take that single LED and put it inside of here and just make it where it could use like one of these single, what is that, 22, 25, 50 battery, yeah, 26, 650. This would be a great flashlight. I'm talking if they would just take that LED Use it with a single battery, one of these big batteries, make it adjustable. I'm talking this thing would be wonderful. It does get a little warm up here. That's one of my complaints is it does get a little warm, which is no big deal. I'm not complaining. But on high, it does, it does get a little warm. See on the X1S, how it's got these nice cooling fins on them. And this one here lacks the cooling fins. It's got these little bitty ones. So, I'm going to give it, oh man, I, it's kind of hard to say, because I like that it uses, I mean, it gives you the extra juice of the two 18650 batteries. I'm not able to use it with two of the big batteries, because I just don't have to. I'm going to have to order a couple of more. I wish that it had a single LED in it instead of the four, because whenever you get it really zoomed in, it gives the, it gives the square. I'm going to have to give this... I don't know, about an 8.8 .8 or so. I just, this could have been a really good flashlight. This could have been, if it would have been used a single LED emitter, a single body tube, get rid of this two piece tube. I mean, this would be great. This would be absolutely great flashlight. So, as it is, four LED, four LEDs that kind of zoom, that kind of spoils it whenever it's zoomed in, two piece body. Which adds, you say, well, Kevin, what's the big deal with a two-piece body? Just adds another point for water for water leakage, another point for the threads to mess up. So I'm just going to say 8.89 out of 10. Anyway, guys and gals, I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you all later.